Hey guys, it's Bodhi with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the OTT Navigator app, which is a popular live TV player that can be installed on any Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV, or Android powered device. Now, the OTT Navigator is a live TV player that you can use to pair with your favorite live TV service for an improved user interface. I have a complete guide here on OTT Navigator, including step-by-step -step screenshots and just more details about pairing a live TV service, along with some frequently asked questions. But before diving in, it is important to note that OTT Navigator can be found inside the Google Play Store. Because this application has over 1 million downloads inside Google Play, we can be sure that this application is 100% legal to install and use on our devices. So guys, since OTT Navigator is not available inside the Amazon App Store, we must sideload this on our Fire Stick or Fire TV device. In this example, I'm using an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, but this tutorial will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now it's important to note that if you already have the downloader app installed, you can skip ahead to the later parts of this video. If you do not, I suggest following along step by step. So the first thing we need to do to install OTT Navigator on our Fire Stick is from the home screen, hover over Find, click Search, and I'm gonna type in Downloader to install the Downloader app. So once I type in Downloader, you'll see it already starts to populate, so click Downloader. Click the orange icon for Downloader under Apps and Games. Click Download, and we're gonna wait a few seconds while Downloader is installing on our device. All right, after Downloader has installed, before launching, there are a few settings we need to change, so click the Home button on your remote, and then scroll over and hover over the Settings icon. Scroll down and click My Fire TV. Click About and then click Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever this says here until you see the following message. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button, click Developer Options, click Install Unknown Apps, click Downloader, and then you'll see On. So now that Downloader is turned on to install unknown apps. So now click the Home button on your remote and scroll down and find Downloader under Recently Used Apps. Click that to launch it. Click Allow, click OK, and you have now installed the Downloader app. After you've installed the Downloader app, the next step to installing OTT Navigator on our Fire Stick is to click the search box, and I'm gonna enter the following code, 298344, double check that for accuracy and click Go. And now you're just gonna wait a few seconds here while you are being redirected to the IPTV Wire Quick Links page. All right, now once we're on the IPTV Wire Quick Links page, the first thing I would suggest doing is coming up to the top right and clicking this icon with the three lines. Click Add Current Page to Favorites, then click Save. And now our Quick Links page is easily saved in your favorites within Downloader if you want to easily access this again. So to find OTT Navigator, scroll down and you'll notice Live TV Players. So once you're under Live TV Players, here you'll see OTT Navigator. So simply hover over OTT Navigator and click the OK button on your remote to start the installation. And we're just going to wait a few seconds here while this app is downloading. And as it downloads, you'll see this message, click Install. Wait a few seconds for OTT Navigator to install. All right, and the app is installed. So before launching, I'm gonna click Done, and I'm gonna delete the installation file. So click Delete, click Delete again, and now hold down the Home button on your remote, click Apps, and now I'm gonna scroll down and here you'll find OTT Navigator in our apps and channels list. So guys, I wanna move this towards the front of my apps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the options button on my remote with the three lines, click move. And now I'm gonna drop it here towards the front of my apps list. So click okay to drop it, click the home button, 
and you'll see here OTT Navigator is now placed towards the front of my apps list. So guys, before launching and pairing a live TV service with OTT Navigator, I would first suggest that you are connected to a VPN. Surfshark VPN is our number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. And guys, I personally just do not trust these third-party app developers. And I also do not trust my internet service provider monitoring what I am doing online. By being connected to a VPN like Surfshark, I now have peace of mind that my connection to the internet is secure. Guys, I do have a special discount link below this video. And that just helps the channel and helps me personally stay afloat. So I'd appreciate if you guys gave that a look. All right, guys, now that I'm connected to Surfshark, I'm going to launch OTT Navigator. And here you'll see I am now on the home screen of OTT Navigator. So for whatever reason, this pops up here and it tries to get you to go to settings, click cancel. And here we're right on the home screen. So guys, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to pair a live TV service. But if you were going to do that, what you would do is you would click live stream. You would click configure provider. And here you would see add provider. So if you hit the down button on your remote, click add provider. And here you'll notice the different options. We have a playlist, generic middleware server, playlist from file, providers list, load a previously made configuration backup. So the most popular way that people will do this is either playlist or a generic middleware server. So if you're using an M3U URL, this is what you would do. You'd click playlist. And here you would enter your M3U URL and you would click apply. Now, if for some reason you are using Extreme Codes API, which is a popular login method, you would click generic middleware server. You would click Extreme Codes. And here you would enter your Extreme Codes API login information. Again, all of this information can be found from your live TV service after registering. So I would refer back to your intro emails if you don't know where that information is. So you would enter your URL address, your login, your password, and you would click apply. And after you would do that, you would notice the different interface and channels would start to populate in the background. So guys, that's it. That's how you install OTT Navigator on your Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Again, this is Bodhi. I truly appreciate you watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. I hope this tutorial helped you out. I appreciate you watching. Hope you guys have a great day.